of baked dough with a caramel. One, two, three. Okay, muchachos and muchachos, we're at McDonald's. Welcome! Hopefully you saw yesterday's video where I unboxed a fantastic plastic figure that truly was fantastic. It was awesome. It was Psycho Santa. Sorry for bringing Christmas to you three months or four months early. No, I can't count. <laughs> But I've got another in the fantastic plastic range from eBay to show you today. This one isn't festive. I suppose it might look good around Halloween. But as far as I'm concerned, if a Funko Pop figure is in my collection, it looks good on display all year round. So, this one, like I say, from an eBay seller, just to buy it now, purchase, no auction, no best offer or anything. £29.99, free postage. It's come pretty quickly. A purchase within this country. $29.99 was the best price I saw this at. It was kind of a little cheaper in America, but once you're adding on the extra postage and the customs, then uh, it was rather more expensive by at least 10 or 15 pounds, I reckon. Probably more, to be honest. So uh, let's get into this. Um, I can't remember, this one might have said it had some very slight box damage. Let's look at the packaging here. I'm having some good luck with eBay sellers and packaging well at the moment. Ah, and this one has also come in a pop protector. Oh, this is actually a spastic collectibles protector. I've not got one of those. It is technically the name of the company. I have heard of them. They're an American company, mainly specializing in mystery boxes, I think. Not anywhere I've ever used, but um, there we are. I don't know if you can see that, probably not, but um, yeah, it's got the Spastic Collectibles logo embossed on it, which is nice. Alright, so the next in my fantastic plastic line to show you is number six, Bone Daddy! Oh yeah! And he is a 2017 fall convention, that will be the New York City convention. Limited to 4,000 pieces. Nice. So, box damage. I think the seller for this said, sort of, like, the window was kind of a bit weird. Like, it sort of curves a bit too much. But I find that with quite a few pop boxes. The plastic window here sort of curves rather than being more, like, straight. <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all. Especially not once it's in a protector. Other than that, and that doesn't really bother me anyway, I'd say this box is in excellent condition. So, another hit from eBay here as far as I'm concerned. I think £30 for a limited piece figure again. Not one in the kind of really small figure range, like 400 from Ringo the other day. Uh, but 4,000 piece, something that you don't really see anywhere over in the UK unless you just look it on eBay quite a lot. Um, there's a bit of bump about Bone Daddy on the back. It says, dig this, the original hip bone is back from the grave. This classic Funko Bone Daddy wacky wobbler returns as a pop, ready to sock it to you. That socket as in, like, your arm socket. <laughs> oh, I like the fact they've got a picture of the original Wacky Wobbler there. So, yeah, at this point, Funko were re-releasing a lot of their original characters that had come out some years prior as Wacky Wobblers, but releasing them as Pops, because, as we know, by that point, Pops were getting way more popular than any other line Funko have done. As I get Bone Daddy out for a better look... I think as is the case with a lot of these, there are variations and uh, some of them are even rarer and therefore very, very expensive and um, I just like getting one character of each. So I was just happy to pick this one up for what I think is a pretty good price. So yeah, here he is. He's a skeleton guy, basically. What else can you say about Bone Daddy? Love his big skeleton grin, if you can call it a grin, it's not really, it's just how like, any skeleton head looks with all the teeth. 
and everything. I do like this purple suit he's got on here. He's got the little pocket hanky sticking out. Got, I think that's a black tie, white shirt. Just looks like a kind of cool, suave businessman type, or maybe even like a gangster type guy. Maybe he could have done with a fedora on his head or something, you know, matching the lilac suit here. What kind of shoes has he got on? He's got sort of two-tone, remind me a little bit of bowling shoes, but I'm sure they're not. But these black and white shoes here, hands in his pockets, very nice, love it. But I love all the fantastic plastic figures, they're great. Bone Daddy is another one in the fantastic plastic range, now added to my collection, and I'm delighted about it. He's back in his box, I'll put him back in the pot protector after I finish shooting. So I'm enjoying filling these gaps, even though I'm spending quite a lot of money doing so. I'm kind of like Funko Collector UK here with a filling the gaps thing. Who were. <laughs> but uh, there's one that um, you should be seeing very soon on the channel that I purchased, I think, the same day as Bone Daddy here from a different seller. And literally minutes before I started filming, I made a best offer on another one, a rather more expensive one than some of these that you've seen at the moment. And that was accepted and hopefully that'll be coming along soon after. So at least a couple more fantastic plastic figures to show you in the coming days on the Jimmy Barnes channel. So please stick with me if you enjoy seeing these original characters. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to the eBay seller. And of course, most importantly of all, special thanks go to you, my beautiful subscribers and generous patrons. Please see all my usual Funko affiliate links and of course my Patreon page and Facebook group. All those links are down in the description text box, so why not check them out today. I'm going to go now display Bone Daddy here. I just like saying it like that, Bone Daddy. And I do hope that you will join me again very soon for my next inevitable Fantastic Plastic Limited Piece unboxing. Cheers everyone. See ya! Nu är det slut för den här veckan, men ni ser oss på måndag igen. Hej då! Oj, gud, vad har jag ätit? Jesus! <laughs>